Hi, I am Balasumanian. In this video, we are going to see 8th Standard Biology, Chapter 10, Food Production. In this lesson, we are going to learn about agricultural practices. In agricultural practices, particularly preparing soil, seed selection, sowing and irrigation. Okay. First one. Agricultural practices. Before that, what is meant by agricultural practices? The various tasks performed by a farmer to produce a good crop are called agricultural practices. For example, if a farmer having planning to do agriculture or cultivate a crop, he must do few activities or few tasks one after another or else he unable to give a good yield okay right see look at the picture farmer planting the paddy seedlings and here same farmer spraying fertilizer on the crops likewise farmer have to do some activities one after another when he was involving agricultural work or cultivating the crops next Preparing the soil. See, preparation of soil is the first step in cultivating a crop for food production. It's a basic step. It's very, very essential for cultivating. Okay, right. See, preparing the soil includes plowing, leveling, manuring. What are they? Plowing, leveling, manuring. Okay. Plowing. What is meant by plowing? The process of loosening and turning the soil is called plowing or else we can say tilling. What is it? The process of loosening and turning the soil is called plowing. Okay. How we can plowing the soil? By using implement is called plow. Okay. What is that? Plow. Okay. Right. Look at the picture. Okay. This is what is called a plow. With the help of this only, we can plowing the field. Okay. Right. See, usually these plows are made with the wood or iron. Okay. See, and also have an iron tip for easy penetration. Look at here. Okay, right. Actually, the plowing of small fields is done with the help of animals. If you are going to plowing soil, the soil is in a small size. What we can do? With the help of legs, we can plow the soil. If it is large, we can use tractors. Okay, right. So, plowing of small fields done with the help of animals like bull legs. While large fields are ploughed by using tractors. Okay, do you all understand? If it is a small field, means how we can plough with the help of animals. What are the animals? Bull legs. If it is large, what we can use? Tractors. Okay, right. Next, look at the picture. If you seeing this picture, of course you will understand. Okay, see, it's a traditional method, common method. Purpose in plowing the field with the help of bullocks. Okay, right, a pair of bullocks which pulls the plow. Okay, during plowing, the soils are loosening and turning. Okay, right. Then look at the picture. Usually, these fields are very large, that is why these tractors are using. For plowing the field. Okay. Right. See what are the benefits. They are getting by the plowing field. First one. The loose soil allows the plant roots to penetrate freely and deeper into the soil. Of course while plowing it helps makes the soil loose. Which means make less tight. Okay. Right. So. Whenever crops grows on the plowing soil, 
it can grow easily in the soil okay and also the roots are grow deeper into the soil okay and also it can hold or it can fix firmly into the soil because the roots are grows inside deeper in the soil okay right so that what will happen plants are held more firmly to the ground which means plants fixed firmly to the ground next the loose soil allows the roots of the plants to breathe easily because loose soil can hold a lot of air in its spaces because already the soils are loose and it has lot of spaces with the spaces air is present okay next loose soil helps in growth of worms and microbes present in the soil see worms and microbes uh, helps the soil to make fertile okay right then ploughing also uproots and buries the weeds weeds means unwanted plants it grows along with the main plant ploughing also uproots and buries the weeds here weeds means unwanted plants okay unwanted plants grows along with the main plant usually this kind of plants absorb nutrients actually this nutrients essential for growing main plants okay right then the loosening and turning of soil during ploughing brings the nutrient rich soil to the top okay while ploughing when soils are turning what are the nutrients found inside it comes up okay it comes to the top so plants can use while growing okay right next one leveling see look at the picture when seeing the picture definitely you will understand see leveling means making a uh, field as even okay making even or equal okay right what is mean by leveling the plowed soil is leveled by pressing it with the help of wooden leveler or iron leveler okay look at the picture so wooden leveler when pulling this automatically the fields become a even okay right so but leveling what are the benefits you are going to get the top soil is not blown away by wind or drained off by water okay mainly we can prevent the soil erosion see whenever uh, rain falls there automatically what will happen the top surface of soils carried away but when leveling it become a flat surface it become even so we can control we can prevent the soil erosion okay next one is manuring before that you have to know what is manure a manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of animal waste like a cow dung human waste and plant residues which supplies essential elements and humus to the soil and make it more fertile okay right it's basically manure prepared from the animal waste and plant waste okay right it contains important elements important nutrients which is needed for growing crop plants okay right manure is very very important task for agricultural work okay see sometimes manures are added to the soil before ploughing why you know while ploughing automatically that manure mix with the soil properly okay right see manure is first transferred to the fields and then spread out in the entire field okay right see when this field is ploughed the manure gets mixed in the soil properly which means soil become a more fertile crop plants can grow easily can trap energies can trap nutrients okay right manure contains many important nutrients which is essential for growing crop plants okay right look at the picture you will understand easily see this is nothing but a cow dung With the help of cow dung we can make manure okay right it makes the soil fertile it gives a nature as a humus okay right next seed selection see before going to cultivate any crop plants we have to select the seed seed should be 
healthy seeds okay the seed should be quality and free from the disease or infection okay right we have to select high yield seeds good quality of seeds usually farmer prefer to use seeds which give high yield of food grains okay next one is sowing see what is meant by sowing sowing is the placing of specific quantity of seeds in the soil for germination and growth okay see there are two kind of sowing the seeds in the soil there are two methods one is sowing by hand and sowing with the seed drill first one sowing by hand it's a common method cheaper method see in this method seeds are taken by hand and spread out on the field or scattering on the field this is what is called broadcasting see the sowing of seeds by hand is called broadcasting okay see what will happen during this method seeds are taken in hand and gradually scattered in the entire ploughed field see actually this method is not a good one because there is no proper spacing or proper depth and proper intervals okay and uh, some disadvantages also there see what is the disadvantage seeds can be eaten by the birds see after sowing by hand of course birds can collect the seeds and they can eat okay right because the seeds are will not covered by sand properly so that is a problem okay right so what are the two methods sowing by hand and sowing with the seed drill okay right what is broadcasting the sowing of seeds by hand is called broadcasting okay right look at the picture this picture all says about broadcasting okay which means uh, spreading seeds by hand or uh, scattering the seeds by hand okay right next one sowing with the seed drill see look at the picture this is what is called seed drill what is mean by seed drill we have to know that okay a seed drill is a device used in agriculture that sows seeds for crops by positioning them in the soil and burying them to a specific depth okay so while using this definitely we can sow the seeds in proper intervals okay right usually seed drill has long iron tip and also having funnel at the top look at the picture see iron tube and funnel okay it contains funnel which is uh, helps to store the seeds okay and through the tubes seeds can carry it to the end of the iron tubes okay right see usually this device attached or tied back of the plow and seeds are put into the funnel of the seed drill here okay right see as the plow makes the furrows in the soil the seeds from the seed drill are gradually released and sown into the soil furrows okay see as the plow makes the furrows in the soil the seeds from the seed drill are gradually released and sown into the soil furrows okay right see when using this we can get lot of uh, benefits the seeds are shown at the correct depth correct intervals regular rows and seeds get covered by soil these are all the benefits when using the seed drill you can get uh, these kind of benefits okay right when comparing sowing by hand and seed drill see seed drill is a best one okay see in this method seeds cannot be eaten by the birds because the seeds are placed at the right place and also covered 
by the soil right so when comparing the two showing by hand and seed drill it's much better than showing by hand okay right look at the picture see this is what is called a device seed drill device okay right next irrigation see what is meant by irrigation the process of supplying water to crop plants in the field is called irrigation see every plants need water see even uh, for example human being human beings need water for surviving likewise plants also plants also need water if you stopping the watering to the plants what will happen plant automatically die so water is very very important for growing plants okay right see how the plants absorb water by the roots okay roots usually absorb the water along with minerals and fertilizers see i have to know that plants contain nearly 90% of water how many percent 90% of water okay right irrigation of crops from different sources like rivers water canals wells tube wells dams ponds and lakes from the sources we can irrigate okay right see main important thing rain rain is source of irrigation of crops so rain is main one right look at the picture these are all the examples of irrigation okay i hope you all understood thank you